hello everyone welcome back to the new video on net backup 8 auto and azure storage integration and if you've been following this track in the first video we configured the azure storage by using the cloud connectors within net backup and after that we created a backup policy and moved the data from our domain controller uh, to the cloud and in today's video i'll show you how you can do the restore uh, back uh, from your azure storage so let's get started but before I do that, let me just quickly move to my domain controller. And if you remember, in the last video, we did the backup of our folder with the name cloud test. And what I'll do is uh, I will delete this folder from my domain controller and see if we can do the restore from within that backup. So let me just right click and delete. And remove this from the recycle bin too. So the folder has been deleted now and uh, let me flip over to my uh, net backup server and uh, highlight backup archive and restore and here you right click and select new window from here And uh, under the restore file, you select the, uh, this uh, hand button over here. And here you need to specify what backup and restore server you want to use. So it is our net backup 8 NBU8. This is my master and media server which are we using in the entire track. Now the client that will be used for restore is the domain controller. So it is DC12. And the policy type for restore was Microsoft Windows. And you select OK. And now you get the domain controller. You expand this and you expand the C drive. And remember, cloud test is the folder that we are trying to restore. And uh, highlight cloud test and you select the button for restore. And you get a another wizard over here. So let me just try to minimize so that you can see the full screen and see the steps in that. So I want to restore this to the original location and I will select start restore and select yes. Now if I go under the activity monitor, as you can see the restore process is now started and it is in active state. And hopefully we should see the folder back on our domain controller. So it seems that uh, it's good. So double click and uh, the operation was completed successfully. So let's verify this one by going to our domain controller. And remember we are pulling the data from our Azure storage which is residing in the cloud. And let's go to the domain controller and we got our cloud test and let me go out. and we also got the text document which was in that one so we got the granular recovery so i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day